This video is going to cover the basics of social posting with Active Demand. With Active Demand, you have the ability to schedule social posts to platforms such as Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, or even schedule blog posts to your WordPress site. To do this, the first thing you're going to have to do is, of course, link your Active Demand account to your social media account. And the way you do this is you go into your account settings find social media in here, add the social media platforms that you have access to. Active Demand will post to a LinkedIn company page, not a LinkedIn personal page. And typically Active Demand is used for posting to your corporate uh, Twitter account, but again, it's you can set it up to post to any Twitter account. For Facebook, it will post to your company page for Facebook, and it will uh, post as well. You can schedule your blog post to your company blog. Whenever you add a social media account, clicking here, there are uh, some accounts we have direct access to where you can do post scheduling. Other accounts are just listed here, for example, Pinterest, you know, there is no API access directly to Pinterest, but if you add Pinterest and your URL to Pinterest, Pinterest's icon will show up on your landing pages as well as your email header, email footers, etc. Anytime you add a social media account here, the icon will appear on the bottom of your templates that you're referencing the, the dynamic icon field or on your landing pages where again you're using the dynamic field to display your social accounts. When you're adding your social accounts, it's important to get the username correct to link to your social accounts. For example, if I'm trying to access Twitter, it's important that I'm using the Twitter username to link to the Twitter API. So I, here it would be the case I would use Active Demand, not at Active Demand, but Active Demand as my username. Same story goes for LinkedIn. With LinkedIn, you will use the email address that you log into uh, to, access, uh, to access LinkedIn. Once you have the account set up, you will see this little icon here. You'll click this, this link here. It will take you to the authorization page that says basically, yes, Active Demand has permission to post on your Twitter account. Same story goes for LinkedIn. With WordPress, you'll actually have to put in your uh, password for your user login to post on the blog uh, with WordPress. The next thing you'll want to do to set up your social media is set up your auto hashtagging fields. Active Demand has the ability to auto hashtag tweets, for example. Whenever Active Demand sees the phrase marketing automation, it will auto create the hashtag, which is hashtag marketing automation. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to actually schedule your posts uh, in Active Demand. In Active Demand, you have the ability to schedule social media posts or blog posts directly from within a campaign. So here I've created a campaign called Social Posts. Whether you're doing an email campaign or you're doing a event campaign, again, there's typically a calendar for these campaign types. This is a generic campaign. And whenever you see a calendar on your campaign overview screen, you will typically see the icons for which you can actually schedule posts for. And with this, basically, you will take the post, you will drag it onto the calendar where you want the post to be fired. You will see here you can uh, set up the time, the date for when the, when the post is going to fire. Here I'm going to do a WordPress blog post. And the WordPress blog post is going to be about call tracking. So what I'll do is I'll name the post. I'll put in a title for the post. And it's important to understand the title here will be used in creating the URL for the or the slug for the post. So make sure you keep in mind your SEO and create a good keyword rich title. And then what I'm going to do is I can do categories, I can do tags, I can do my meta description and uh, really the meta description is for SEO. I'm just going to go ahead and put the first paragraph of my um, uh, blog post in here. And as well a blog post will have a feature image. I'm just going to add an image. Here's an image here. 
and then I'm going to put the body of the uh, of the um, uh, of the post into this section here. And again, this is a full text editor, and you can go ahead and uh, style it how you want. It's important to understand that the feature image that you select here will be uploaded to to your blog post. But any images that you reference inside your blog post will actually remain in Active Demand's uh, image library. So once I have the, the post done, I'll go ahead and save it. And voila, you'll see the post is scheduled right here. Same story goes for posting to Twitter. Let's say I have another blog post that I did in the past. And what I really want to do is post a tweet about this blog post. What I'll do is just copy the URL for the post. I'll grab the tweet icon, drop it onto the calendar. Then what I'll do is I'll paste the URL for the blog post from my previous blog post into uh, the URL edit box. I'm going to click download and what it's going to do is download the post from my blog. And I'm, it's going to read any images that it finds on the blog. Then what it's going to do is read the blog post, see if there's any external links that are in the, um, in the post. It's going to find any Twitter handles of folks that I might have uh, referenced in my blog post. So I can go ahead and do a mention of the person that possibly I'm referencing in my blog post. So it makes it very easy to set up and schedule my, blog, my social tweets on blog posts. What I've shown you so far is that it's very easy to drag and drop individual posts to your calendar. It's very convenient if you have one or two posts to schedule, but if you are looking to schedule, for example, a two months worth of uh, Twitter posts at one sitting, it becomes very difficult to drag and drop individual posts onto the calendar. To save time, Active Demand has the ability to import bulk posts using the bulk post import tool. Click the import posts button and you will pre be presented with this dialog. This dialog allows you to choose a post file, uh, import the file and set up a series of post slots. And what a post slot is, is it's a predefined time and day of the week in which you were looking to post a specific uh, social channel. So for example here with LinkedIn, maybe I'm going to post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 o'clock, but Tuesdays and thirties, Thursdays I like to see my posts go out at 10.30. So I will have these two different po uh, post slot schedules set up. And I will have all of my LinkedIn posts set up in an Excel file. I'll upload the file into Active Demand, and what it will do is take the first line of the um, file, put it into the first available slot, take the next line of the file, put it into the next available slot, and so on and so on. So it'll auto-create all of your blog posts uh, that are inside the, um, inside the, the, the file. And you can set up a different slot schedule for each different social media channel. So, for example, maybe I'm only going to do blog posts every Monday at 9 o'clock, and maybe I'm going to do tweets uh, every single day at 10 o'clock. I can set up individual post slots for each of the different social media types. Now, if I'm looking to find out the format of the Excel file, I'll just download the headers after selecting the social media type that I'm looking to upload. I've already got a file selected. And here I have, for example, my LinkedIn posts. I'm just going to open them. And so I have my slot schedule set up for LinkedIn. I have all of my posts uh, configured inside my spreadsheet. And then what I'm going to just do is click Import Posts. And it's going to go ahead, read that file. And one at a time, it's going to take a post off a line, put it into a slot, take the next line, put it in the next available slot, so on and so on. So as you see here, just like I'd shown in the configuration screen, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm posting at 9 o'clock, and Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm posting at 10.30. And it goes on and on with all of my posts that I have scheduled. After I've done my LinkedIn posts, I can go ahead and choose to, for example, upload my blog posts. And the blog posts, maybe it's a case I'm only doing these blogs every Monday at 9 o'clock. And again, I'll upload my uh, blog posts using the uh, file that I've pre-created. 
So very easy to bulk upload your scheduled posts using the bulk import tool. So now let's say that I've imported my blog posts as well as my LinkedIn posts. And then, you know, I got really busy and decided to uh, build a bunch more posts off into the future. So for example, if we look here, all my posts go off into November. And then let's say I've actually done my November and December posts uh, in a sitting and I want to import, bulk import uh, my LinkedIn posts from uh, November onward. Basically what I would do is click the import posts icon again I'll find my new file that I've created and this would be my second file and what I'll do here is I'll set the start date for this new import to be November 11th basically what this will do will assume that the first available slot is actually on November 11th and you can see that the first post did start on 11th and continued off into the future. Now that I've shown you how to schedule posts or bulk import posts, now I'm going to show you how to use social media inside your workflows. If you're familiar with the workflow engine, you'll know that there's decisions and there's actions. And with the social media tools, you have the ability to actually take some of the social media actions inside a workflow. So for example, you could do a direct Twitter message campaign using a workflow editor and dropping a direct Twitter message onto the screen. You can do drip campaigns, for example, let's say somebody follows you within a specific time period, you can go and do a direct message to that follower based on the current campaign settings. You can do schedule posts just like you've done before on the on the post scheduler by using the specific workflow action and dragging it onto your uh, workflow and tying it with the uh, the wires inside the workflow editor. This concludes the video on social media posting in Active Demand.